Yeah, man, you can do it. Yeah! Through the wall technique, proving to be even more effective than the fish trap. Get up on there. Look at all these piranha we're getting now. That's ridiculous. Yo, what's going on, people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved back on Aberration. As you can see, it's actually started to get some FPS drop here in German's base. Now it's... Now it's officially time to go make my own giant cage. Just probably right over there because we do tame a lot of creatures together in the very neighboring vicinity, but it's kidding. I guess I could just disable name tags. But still, let's look at these. They've got the great period of Ravager over here. Period. Oh my god, it's pyramid. What the gross, dude. Whoa, look at this one. That is the craziest mutation I've ever seen. Oh my god, it's got a blue belly as well. I wouldn't even have known that if it wasn't for the name Blue Belly. This isn't even remotely the point of the video. I just loaded in and they have some... This is crazy. God, German and Repug are the masters of that. Okay, so today's video. Today's video, I kind of had, you know... I'm pretty sure this has been a general thought with every single person as soon as a new fish were tameable in Aberration. Who's to make a piranha pit, you know? Everyone's going to have a piranha pit. Every single base will eventually... I don't know, not... Not every single base, because right now you can't place water. What am I doing? I have to do stuff first. You can't place water, so right now it's only bases located right near water and stuff like that, but I don't know if they ever change that down the line. It'd be quite fancy. Look at this idiot. Just didn't even realize what I was doing. All right, so if you guys want to see... Oh, God, they've done so much cool stuff since I've last played with them. If you guys want to see more Aberration, make sure to leave a like on the video, and um, that's muy importantes if you guys want to see more. How many fish baskets are you guys able to make? Is it specifically fungal wood? You know what? I can make these over at my trees because, um, I mean over at, over in the trees, over at my fish cage because there's a buttload but of those fungal. Alright, so last night I just got on and constructed somewhat of the beginning of a piranha cage, piranha tank. I obviously need to continue working on it, but seeing as how this is like a pure vanilla server, even with, actually it does... The gather rates have turned up a bit, so there's actually no excuse, but I don't know, man. I was playing a lot of Halo last night. I do plan on adding on a bunch to it, but even this alone, I feel I was... I was proud of it, but I'm hard on myself. I know someone's gonna judge me in the comment section, so I'm insulting myself first. That little method of self-defense got me all the way through high school. Where is it? Oh, for the love of Christ. Hang on, I think it's... Oh, oh it's right here. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was like, alright, that's not good, because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be, like, right here. See, I kind of wanted it so it's connected to the waterways, so I'm able to, um... So I'm able to throw it out of gates, obviously, on both sides, and then I can open it up and have my fishy poo swim on through and basically channel my army through every major water canal of this entire map, for the most part. It couldn't just be in some isolated little area. It has to connect to... Has to connect to most, which this connects to the majority of the map. So that's why I figured this would be a pretty good spot. Have not put down a single damn fish yet. I was gonna get started on it, but actually, just just the amount of gathering all this stuff because I was too lazy to go get an actual creature that helps gather. Even a roll rat would have freaking cut hours out of this, or at least an hour, because it only took about an hour. Still, it's a nice little cage for our piranha. Especially because we have this, we have this trippy ass algae right here, which I would never swim in. I mean, not under these moss or these lily pads. I would never swim under in real life because horrified of snakes. But in this game, I'm so confident. Such a hero in this. All right, so now it's time to go get us some stinking fish. That's my main goal in life. Yeah, see, it's all there is around here is fungal wood. This is gonna be awesome. I'm really freaking excited for this. So excited, in fact, that I even forgot to grab food. Although I should just generally make some sort of a little base here, at least a, at least a campfire, because I'm obviously gonna be hanging out here a bit. All right, so now I'm just gonna mass gather a bunch of schniz really quick, because we're, I, I don't know, I'd like to set off on this journey with at least, at least like 30 fish baskets, assuming Josh here can carry it. Obviously, Drake and Josh over here isn't my most, like, formidable creature for this sort of thing, but I don't know. You just generally don't know when you're gonna have to go to- That is a pitch white Ravager over there. That's damn fancy. You don't know when you're gonna have to go to battle or just- I just- I just love the quick transportation. These things can do so many amazing- Even though I would typically be using a roll rat for this, which also has pretty amazing ways- of Go under it, damn it! Also has pretty amazing ways of transportation, but flight. I mean, gliding. All right, here comes the fun part. Sitting here and making them, which honestly I should just be thankful for. Four, four? Oh my God. Hang on, I gotta really get my life together on this. <laughs> I thought they were mostly fungal wood. I did not realize that they were just kind of mostly fiber. That's the, I, I suppose I should just be thankful though. It could be a lot worse. I also could have brought in a sickle over here, which would make this a lot easier, but whatever, you know. 
Oh, wow, 11. Now we're balling. You know what, even just this, I might just, oh no, I'm not within range of Josh. All right, so now I'm gonna wait here. But again, I should just be happy it's magically crafting them. The amount of like freaking patience and, and, and skills it would take to even craft one of these things, hell no. Okay, now we're off to officially go get us some piranhas. Now, full disclosure, I have not mastered getting each of these little turds into the cage without losing some cages in the, uh, in the attempt, which is extremely heartbreaking, but I don't know, it's just the way it is. I've actually been talking to a, um, to a few people to see if it's possible, because obviously it'd be, like, very simple to do to, um, for just when we start a modded aberration series for obviously when aberration creatures hit the dev kits and like Mr. Fister and all those guys start making some crazy modded versions of like the Basilisk and stuff like that. Obviously we'll have a modded series, which obviously this vanilla series won't go anywhere. Even my old Anunnaki series won't go anywhere. Like my, I will ma be maintaining at least three. Damn it, I couldn't find any. It just comes out of nowhere. But yes, I think a piranha catcher would be freaking dope. Just basically involving something like this, but made out of metal, I'd say, so, um, a piranha can't just kill it in one bite. Damn it! Did I push it out of the water? Oh, that's so unfortunate, poor little bugger. Insta-death. Wow, wouldn't that be crazy? A, um, a mod that actually, or not even a mod, damn it! Hang on, they always come, they, they get the jump on me every freaking time. Come on, come on. Come on, oh my god, we're so close! Dude, Jesus Christ, how long is it up to- Oh, man, that is heartbreaking. That would kind of freaking fish it the, the, the Jesus! These little buggers make you earn their love. That's what's going on here. You, you're easy. Look at you floating around, tossing it around every Tom, Dick, and Harry in town. It's these ones that the hard to get, the prized fishes. I'm gonna kill that ray because it's a, it's about to be a real big boner. Down you go. Okay, I killed some coals too, which I'm all for, cause those dirty bastards are of no use to me right now. They only confuse me. Neebie beebie bee. All right, come on. God, it's so weird how the earthquake jerks you around such when you're in um when you're in the water. It doesn't even make any, doesn't even make any earthly sense. Hang on, you know what would actually be perfect. If, um, excuse me, sir, uh, um, oh, sir, Drake and Josh. Hang on, get, get this guy out of here. You serve no purpose. There's more of them. All right, hang on, now, now that we're in here, I think this actually sounds kind of genius. Oh my God, get the hell out of here. Sweet, everything we're killing isn't what I'm trying to catch. All right, come over here now. Come to me, fishies. All right, you, buddy, you're gonna have to take some fish nibbles right now. I'm sorry, it's just the way it's gotta be. I know, I know, no one likes fish nibbles. No. The earthquake, I have to wait till the freaking earthquake is over. I can't see what the hell is going on in life now, right now. It's redonkulous. Where the hell is Quake from Agents of Shields to come absorb this bad boy? Man, I did not give that chick a chance in the first couple seasons and she's really grown on me, I'm not gonna lie. All right, come on. Yeah, we got some feet tourists down there. That's what I like to see. Come one, come all, gather around and chew at my creature's feet. Hang on, what's going on down here? Easy, oh my god, they've targeted me as well. Okay, this plan sucks, this plan sucks! What's left on me? At least I still have these awesome ass pants on. All right, all right, you little, this should not be this difficult. I've caught one, one or two before, but it's always a bit of a, um, a high risk situation. All right, there you are. I'm just trying to really av avoid my baskets taking a lot of damage. That's what I really hate. Come on, little guy. Get in there! Jeez, I was crazy right there! God, alright buddy, so you're gonna hold all of the fishies. What are we looking at with you? 25 minutes, right? Alright, 25 minutes. I wish I could just surgically attach that glider to my skin. That would be the logical thing to do around here. What's going on over there? Inspector Nosy over here. I, I don't, I don't identify you, sir. Okay, so I've gotta find... Where the hell did you just come from? I gotta find some more piranha. I think Josh over here killed them all. Whoever nibbles on my toes is worthy of my friendship. This is the only time that will ever mean anything in life right here. So, obviously I'm gonna say it. Okay, get all these guys out of here. For I hate them so. Come on, little buddy. Yeah, look at this guy. You know what'd be cool about the piranhas in here is if they were um, generally passive, unless something hurts you. And then once you, once you bled, then they just go ridic ridiculously ham on you. Like once you're, you know what I mean, once they're exposed, 
Exp exposed to blood. Don't eat the basket. What is this? I swear to God, look at all these fish dead on the beach. I'm killing more piranha like this than I ever have on purpose. Crap. Oh, it's such a good opportunity for a fish. It's like right there, right out of the water, but there's a ravager right next to it. Stupid ravager. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you are. Come to me. Get over here. What? I've never seen piranhas be so like passive before. So just it's just now look at this that thing is legit running away from me. That's insanity He's coming back. All right, and we got others sweet try not to go out of the water till you die you doofus Okay, that one died Oh, 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 no, it was so pretty such a nice blue get over here, man. Come on. It's this basket. It kills them. Oh My god, they ate the basket and freaking threw me out of the water. What was that? Savages, man. That was actually scary. That one was slightly uh, Alarming right there. Yeah, you're gonna consume a little bit of everything in your inventory right now, buddy These little buggers it's gonna be hard to get a freaking army of these but once it's done It's going to be the most gratifying thing in the world I almost did this video on my PvP server my subscriber PvP server, but I honestly thought if I what were Where's that ravager? Ravages right there. I honestly thought like there was a chance that someone would find the piranha cage and kill them all or something before the video and then I'd have Well, we'd have what we call a broken heart Oh, come on get funneled into the hot gates. Yes into the hot gates. Come on little fishy. Don't go anywhere You can do it. Oh little bastard Hang on don't destroy the fish basket either. Come on. You're better than that. Did you just swim? What is that you just you're all defying physics? Although I honestly didn't realize it stretched out a little more. I feel like I'm onto something though. You! You big bastard, sir. You gotta get the hell up out of here if this is gonna go well at all. How did you just eat that? That wasn't even... You can't eat until the wreckage has dissipated. Who, who makes these rules? Dissipate you stupid wreckage? Oh my god, bro. My wreckage totally won't dissipate. What's going on here? Alright, that's some dissipated wreckage. That wreckage is straight up dissipated. Weird rules, you fascists. Chew on me all you need, little man. Chew on me all you need. You're just joining me at the end of this. I hope you know that. Oh! No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. I think we... Damn it, we didn't get it. Oh, that is so heart-wrenching right there. You guys really know how to make a girl hurt. I'll give you that. You guys really know how to hurt somebody. It's it, it was in, man. It was it. It was in the cage. It was in the zone. I find they get so much more aggro when you build. Like, they really hate it when you build. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we got another one. Finally. Jesus Christ. This is taking way longer than it's supposed to. These little fishy bastards are resilient. Look at this one's already almost spoiled. All right, we'll get one more. I swear to God, they start spoiling, though. But I like this strategy right here. Funnel them into the hot gates. And they're generally peaceful, too. Like, they leave me alone after they get bored of me. But then once they see that I'm building stuff, look, they're like, he's in the water. Oh, he's building. He's oh, as soon as I freaking put it down. Every goddamn time. Come on. Come on, you little shark monster. I know what you're capable of. I've seen the movies. Where do you go? Come on, man. Balls! Yeah, we go. Okay, this is definitely one bajillion percent the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. It's like I've increased efficiency by so much. All right, see all generally peaceful. No one cares about me. I'm just that guy occasionally kidnapping their friends But now that I'm a nice little a nice little arc player. I don't want to hurt anybody. Oh, I'm just building in the water Well, I mean it was bound to not work eventually. Oh, no, here he comes. Look at this here. He comes someone build it over here Not on my watch. God damn it. Oh, no, the wreckage is gonna take hours to dissipate Look, even a coal came over here. It just draws attention. I think noises in the water draw fish I think that might be a thing Obviously, you can't do anything with you here, stupid. Go on, get out of here. Can't you see we don't want you? Actually, that is a beautiful colored fish right there. I don't know if we could ever start a friendship, though, that, with that intro. That is one good-looking fish. Oh, man, you know what? I had my doubts. I didn't deserve him. It was clear. I was abusive. He deserved better. Everyone take a lesson from that right there. Would you just take a j- Oh, my God, get him through the wall. Get him through the wall. That's even a more genius way to do it. Yeah, man, you can do it. Yeah! Through the wall technique, proving to be even more effective than the fish trap. Get up on there. Look at all these piranha we're getting now. That's ridiculous. I'm going to keep putting this to the test right here. No one's got any problems? Okay, the coal already came over. No one's got any beef? No fish as far as the eye can see. Put the thing down. Hang on, he had already been coming at me. He had already, because that, that would just be comical. 
No, he had to have been. I just didn't see him. Because that, that would be stupid if it was that, that easy to just freaking... Because look, he seems generally bored with me. He's not satisfied with the package. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Thank God he cut me off, too. I was about to start getting into weird conversations and such. It's already 17 out of 30 health, or with 300 health. That's malarkey. Yeah! God damn, you guys just see the progress of a professional right here. Started as a fisherman who couldn't even catch crabs from a prostitute. And now... Well, I was always pretty good at making up random things on the spot, I realized. But now, I, now I'm a piranha catching master. All right. No piranhas. No piranhas over there. None over there. None freaking anywhere. Right? Blocked out. Perhaps... Perhaps I'm tripping? Perhaps it, it only works so many times. Perhaps it's just a coincidence. Either way, we have many fish that I need to go run over here really quick to my little fish cage. I'm so happy I finally have this, like, process streamlined. Okay, there we go. Because obviously, like, a piranha pit's not going to be even remotely effective unless it has at least, like, 20 piranha. The key is to have enough to where it destroys anything you lead into here. Anything I ba basically lead into here to feed. But, um, it has to kill them no matter what, but it also has to, um... Also has to kill them at a speed at which they still feel the pain and everything. It's like a very delicate process feeding people two piranhas. Ba boom! Piranha one engaged. Two, three. Oh my god, look at my little army right here. It's growing. So freaking happy we could finally be starting our piranha cage in Ark. Like, thank you, man. Thank you, Ark devs. If we one day get the ability to actually place her on water, that would be even better though, because um well, obviously, we'd be, able to, we'd be able to do this wherever we want. Can you guys follow me? I don't know, you can follow me. Yes, you always want targeting range to be high. Anything that comes into... Anything that comes into the water to be killed instantly. I don't think they're gonna listen to me, though. I, it wouldn't really make sense that they would. Not a lot of people get piranha, you know, for the, for the obedience. It's more of a, um, well, obviously, we gotta have them all wondering for it to be, like, an efficient, spooky little product. Yeah, but it's more the fact that any of your enemies you put into it, they die and such. That's, that's more where the general vibe comes from. Yeah, look at this, dude. <gasps> the beginning of the end right here. Once again, we need more fish baskets, though. These things are a ripoff. Okay, so it's fiber. Fiber's what's holding me up now. Get out of here, man. I guess you only need about 10 fish baskets at a time, though. The key is finding a good spot that's not completely covered in spinaweg. That's not completely covered in other creatures. Okay, I'm killing a lot of prawn here. There's definitely a lot. Damn it! God, that was annoying. All right, so there's clearly a bunch of prawn in here. This place will do just fine, I'd say. Oh, let's just craft one more of these bad boys right now. Obviously, got to have our little fence foundation and walls. That's that's the entire badunka dunk behind my plans. Oh good, I was hoping the ground was just gonna randomly shake for the next five minutes. And here ye be, here it is. Alright, there's a bunch of piranhas here. Now obviously a bunch of them just died. Okay, there's one coming. Come on, little buddy. Maybe I'll just get you through the wall. Is that, is that how we could do it right now? That would be so flippin' convenient. How do you jerk me around so much when I'm in the water? It doesn't even make any sense. That's not even how life works. Come on, little guy. Come on into Johnny's house of pain. Yeah! He is so good at that right now. Although that one was like basically instant. I've never really had that good of luck with any of them before. All we really need is fiber right now to craft more of these. Just a heads up for all you YouTubers out there who stumbled across this video. When you do a video similar, make sure you do have a sickle on you. Because, I, I don't know, I just didn't realize they were mostly fiber. I thought it was a huge fungal wood type thing because I've been just... I don't know, everything I've built hasn't been that much fiber. I should have known. Lesson learned, Johnny. Lesson learned. Our base is like 500 feet that way. I could still go get one, but nope, it's just so much easier to complain about it instead. All right. What's going on, buddies? Can I try just the straight-up old-school easier, but not as complex tactic? Come on, little guy. Come on, get in there. Got the walls. The wall. After you, after you mess with the walls, it's just there's no going back. Come on, fishy poos. Someone can meet my face. There's just so many of you in here. Second, you know, this this water is the worst depth I've ever seen. It's like right in the in the no-no spot. Come on. Making noise down here. Come on, little guys. Perfect. You're doing it. You're do damn, they just get so bored of you once you step out of the water. You're just no longer attractive to them is what it is. It's a sad day when you're no longer attractive to the neighborhood. 
Oh, 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 get out of here, you stupid fish. I didn't want you. Now you're distracted from the cool fish. Oh, look at that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mission to go. Mission progress. Mission progress. Hang on. Yeah, I got another one. All right, sweet. Going through these bad boys like candy. Um, do I have any more of those freaking mushrooms on me right now? Because I'm getting pooned out here. Literally like taming piranha. Now I know where that expression that doesn't exist comes from. You would be sweet. You could be like our wise old coal fish in our piranha cage that says funny stuff sometimes. Hang on, goddammit. No, oh, goddammit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. We don't need a wise talking coal anyways, dude. Oh my God, look, they left the glue tail by my pace. Hey there, stanky. What's going on, buddy? I don't know if you wandered over here on accident or something, but you're gonna hang out with me. Oh my God, he's just adorable. All right, so boner stuff took place. That's unfortunate. That's the word I use when I want to swear, but I'm not 100% sure if that word's can you demonetize it. Banshee, Banshee, what's going on, buddy? How's it hanging? You're perfect for this right here. Really need to get your damage up. Come on, buddy. Banshee was the level 150 egg that I got from my stream where I went down on a Josh got got Drake eggs and went and tamed a basilisk. Uh, Banshee's pretty damn sweet. Pretty freaking strong. I guess the level, the max level you can find um, Drake's at vanilla wise, there's 190 apparently. That's what somebody said at least. And uh, Drake, or Drake, Josh was found at 185. Uh, Banshee was found at 150. So they're both pretty um, pow. That was stupid. Which one of you bastards was this guy? All right, happy we settled that like gentlemen. Have I caught anything? Hang on, I gotta get to my stuff. Schnirf, I wish you could just leave fishing traps in the water to just occasionally catch stuff as they come. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What the hell is happening? Ho, 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 ho. You know what, I'm not even mad, man. She just totally saved my freaking life right there. So we're all decided then, fisher bastards. Is that the general census? Did you just kill them all though, buddy? I gotta get that fish back to the freaking cage right now. There's a lot of hostile entities. I mean, a lot of, a lot of issues you face going piranha catching. Here, I thought it was all gonna be gumdrops and just fun times. God, this thing is so freaking powerful. I love it so much. You're the man, Josh. You're also a hit TV show back in the 90s. God, I missed the 90s. Drake and Josh was hilarious. All right, which one of you fish bastards went to tangle with the likes of me? Come on, you fish. What is this? Is that my old stuff? Am I really just right here down the road or is that... The piranhas seem to be swimming upstream or something. What the hell is going on around here? Oh, this guy. This guy is all about it. Can I just catch you without luring you back to my, my sneaky little trap? Is that is that a possibility? Can that be a thing? Come on back, buddy. Hoo-hoo! And another hand. Let's go for another. Come on, get in here. Come on, little fish. Get in the cage. Come behind the wall. Let's look behind the wall. They're just screwed. There's nowhere for them to go. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, but I'm also kind of screwed and about to die. It's just so addicting trying to get all these. Oh my God, you little farts. Trying to get all these fish in it though. It's, it's actually a really fun game to play. Yeah, we got another one. They just keep coming into it. This is beautiful. Come on in, ladies. The water's fine. Ah, ah. <laughs> We're just, I honestly, this will be the great setup for a piranha right here. We're just taking you back to a base where you're gonna infinitely eat creatures that I lure on into it for you to feast upon. That sounds like a pretty sweet gig. This piranha is one, oh, stubborn Nini. Come on, buddy, get back over here. I was, ah, ah, hang on. Yeah, and another one. Ha, ha. Come on, come on, get him again, get him again. Get him. Claim his soul for the empire. Damn it. I can feel the darkness in you, boy. You're growing stronger. Come on, man. I don't keep, keep up these. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. Oh my God, the lizard. Oh my God, the freaking lizard. Holy crap. This is why I shouldn't touch nice things ever. Ever, ever, ever right here. All right, down to my last epic beast. Well, I mean my last one that travels quickly. Fly, buddy. Oh, you gotta make the wall. Yeah, all right, so hopefully everything over there is still alive. Obviously, I'm an emotionally cruel bastard at this point and won't care if everything's dead. No, I have to say that, otherwise I'll just cry. Ah, for the simpler times of just luring crabs into that and bashing their face off with a rock. That's, that's good old-fashioned fun. This is just risky, grabbing piranha out of the water. 
You guys wanna do yourself a treat? Go Google watching Piranha eat like a cow's head in like half a second. It's crazy. Although catching him, I feel like it would be pretty easy. Like some, some fish you gotta bait for hours. Those you literally just put some flesh in the water and they come swarming by the hundreds. Now that's service right there. I can't see if he's alive yet, but I'm, I'm assuming the worst. Cause he's in the water. Did he die? I think he died. He might have died. I don't see him. I'm afraid to check the tribe log. If I don't check the tribe log, then he's still alive in my mind. Well, you know what? Now I know. Catch a piranha is actually a pretty risky activity. Who'd a thunk it? Not I. All right, we got another one. Oh yeah, now we're gonna, dude. I'm gonna have like freaking a hundred of these ba babies by like next week. New rule: never bring anyone's pets outside. Oh god damn it! That's all the verification I need right there. Oh my god, that's so sad. <gasps> oh man. On a disgusting, awful side note, I probably shouldn't mention. I just realized. Remember that mod that lets you make skins out of animals' flesh? I should definitely pay the mod developer because I think they stopped making it. But if obviously if you if you pay people to do stuff, they're usually down to keep doing it. But um. I feel like if we had a glow, glow tail, because like there was nothing more bonding than when one of your creatures died, chopping it up and making a mask out of its skin. It really, really made you feel like you still had the creature with you there, no matter what. You know what's sad? I was just like enjoying our, our epic creatures right here. Like freaking um, Josh and Banshee and Ripley back there, even though Ripley's not like the, even that high of a level of a Xeno, but... I mean, she, obviously, he could be much better. Obviously, I will have, like, a max level Reaper eventually. Like, I, that's actually a very near mission of mine, but it's just sad, because once you go fight Rockwell, you never know how many of these creatures might perish. You, you, they could all die. Sad to think about. God, I love this little area. It's my, by far my favorite spot to even think about a fish tank. Look at it right there, man. Perfect funnel access to all major waterways. My army will spill into the major areas of the map, and... Just caused so much devastations. It's gonna be hilarious. Alright, buddies, two at a time, everyone off the ship. Let's take a look at some of these piranhas we got going on here. Some of the new batch coming in. Alright, go on, you're free now. You're free to do your own thing. Oh, by the way, each of the piranha can be named, right? It's definitely change name. Yes, make sure to drop name suggestions for every piranha because, um, well, I'm gonna be picking a lot more names, obviously, than usual because. Well, I have a lot more names. I've, I've Usually it's like one creature, maybe two were tamed or birthed. But now we have a small army that could be named freaking anything. So make sure to uh, make sure to drop those name suggestions. It would actually be helpful if they all had names. Then I'd know, I don't know, I could just eventually get to know all of them very freaking well. Look at this dude, the beginning of our little piranha tank. All right, um... Yeah, I need to think about other ways to construct this. I obviously want a little opening gate right there, opening gate right there. I need a little roof over this. I don't, there's no flyers in Aberration, so that's nice. Nothing's coming in through the roof, and even if anything did come in, generally they would all just attack and kill the crap out of it. Look at this size, this purple one. He's a one. He's 1.1. 1. 1. Damn, I was, I tweet me if anybody, tweet me. Tweet a photo to me if anybody manages to get like, I don't know, just the biggest piranha you could possibly get, because now, I wish you could breed them and make your own prize giant piranha. How nice is this fish tank for them, by the way? I'm such a good fish owner. But yeah, if you guys had a good time watching it and enjoy the aberration videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace! It's time to get in here.